if you've not read anything by Neil Gaiman, Neil Gaiman is um, one of my favorite authors. Uh, he is one of the most outwardly, one of the most outspoken proponents for the library and reading, um, and he has written so many stories that have impacted me dramatically over the years. Uh, the story that I want to talk to you about today is Stardust. Uh, Stardust is uh, a fairy tale of sorts. Um, the main character's name, Tristan Thorne, Tristrun, I was like, that's not quite right. Tristrun Thorne. Uh, his name is Tristrun Thorne. And he wants to win the heart of a beautiful girl that he loves. And he will do anything to win her affections, including fetch the star that fell from the sky and give it to her out of his love to win her heart. But when uh, he has to cross this wall to do so, um, and it's a wall that separates them from this wild land that their town has been named after, and this, this wall essentially separates them from fairy. So when he crosses this wall, he has uh, witches to face. He has pirates to, to, to fly with because this pirate has a flying pirate ship. He has... Uh, he learns that the star is not just an inanimate object, but it is a being uh, to engage with. Uh, this story is filled with wonder and sort of the romance of fairy tales and adventure. And uh, Neil Gaiman stories always have kind of a dark twist to them, a, dark, a darkness that makes the good and the hope and the light shine so much brighter. And Tristram is good. And uh, Tristram... Uh, is going to have to overcome all of these challenges if he's going to get the star for his beloved. And is that what he really wants? Uh, so I hope that you'll pick up Stardust, and I hope that you'll enjoy it.